On Unluggy today, we've hacked the Homeowners Association and scouted the internet to bring you the Karen and Kevins, who were caught on film by their poor neighbor's doorbell. So lock your doors and bolt your windows, and we'll dive right on in. Over in Oklahoma, we've got a Kevin caught on his neighbor's doorbell. After lecturing complete strangers on where they can park on a public street, I think this guy needs more than a chill pill to calm down. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. This Karen is caught on their neighbors, receiving an incredibly fast dose of karma. Somehow, I don't think she'll be raiding anyone else's front porch after that broken ankle. I hope this Karen doesn't ever need to take a lie detector test, because her story as to why she took this package certainly doesn't add up. When this Karen is caught in the act of poaching a package, she's not happy. Take a look. Hey, put that down. I'm not kidding. Dude, I just stopped someone from stealing my package. I don't think this Karen realized that she was on camera when she stole this neighbor's mail, but it seems she really wanted those bills. Here we see a Kevin destroying his neighbor's property after he was caught stealing a package. Seems like no one can have anything nice when he's around.
Someone call pest control because we've got video evidence of a neighborhood annoyance and she's angry because someone parked in her space on a public street. And I do have permission to park there. Okay, do you know where the cone is? No, I do not. It was not there when we got back home last night. Okay. I will look through I will look through my ring doorbell and see if it shows anybody taking it. Okay, but when they're there, please oh, don't park uh, there. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am. Because she has gone to I house. Have, she has to go house to house. The poor woman and, and, and find out I, who's parking yeah, there. And, 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 I and try it's to just help disrespectful. I'm not been disrespectful to her. I would just ask him not to park there when they're here because you the have poor, never seen his truck parked there since they've been moved in. Not one time. Okay, I'll talk to Gloria then because yes, that's please not her do. understanding. But I I just feel she's so upset when she has to go house to house and I feel so bad for them. I do and too. Yes. Neighbors. And and I honey, I went over there and cut their grass. Kevin here is caught on his neighbor's doorbell having a childish tantrum. Someone better get in touch with the homeowners association because this Kevin seems to have got the stairs confused with the disposal chute. All because the neighbor below was listening to some music. I think this Kevin seems to have got the activity of gathering leaves a bit confused. Silly Kevin, I bet you're embarrassed that this got caught on camera. My friendly neighbor back at it again. I don't know what is wrong with this Karen, but from the footage, it's obvious she's at the wrong house. She was arrested and charged the next day after this disturbance. Open the goddamn door! Right now! Open the goddamn door! Kevin here is so full of himself when he's caught begging for his ex-girlfriend to take him back. However, he certainly brought down a peg or two. Would you take him back? I gave you the best sex you've ever had. I made you feel loved. I made you feel appreciated. I gave everything to you. I did everything that I could to make you happy, and it was never good enough. 
You need therapy. We Caitlin, please. Come on. Please come tell me to off. So I can hear your voice. Hopeless. Karen here is caught by her neighbor's ring doorbell, and somehow I don't think it's her neighbor who's the freak. Is she scared of modern technology? <laughs> freak. You are a freak. Someone needs to tell this Karen that the power of staring will not remove a ring doorbell from its wall. Why did she feel so entitled to inspect this dude's house? Watch this clip where Karen doesn't seem to understand the process of a public street. Emphasis on the word public. Sorry, Karen, you don't own the street. And I think the police you plan on calling will tell you the same. Hold on, I know, I know. I know you're in there. You parked in front of my house. You parked in front of my house for the last time. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops right now. I know you're in there. I'm calling the cops. I feel for this poor ring doorbell owner. The amount of notifications from this Karen's ringing must be through the roof. It's certainly one way of getting someone's attention. Forget showing up with the fruit basket. This Kevin has become even more neighborly and brings a hammer. Would you open the door to this lunatic? There's raising a grievance with a neighbor and there's this Karen's request. Is she out of line for trying to be neighborly? Hello. Are you the owner of the, the orange car? Yes. Back? yes. Um, I just wanted to talk to you for a bit. I'm one of your neighbors, and yeah. it's it really loud. I know. Like, my window is out. I know. And it's been a long time, yes. and, like, I don't want it to become a problem. But is, is it necessary for it to be that loud? Well, that's, that's how the car is. It's a race car. But I was I was fixing it, so that it's loud. I know, but it's, it's pretty regular, be, it's, and, like... It's going to be like that every time I go in and out. There's nothing you can do? No, it's a race car. I'll take it in and out. If I drive it, it's gonna... I can't shut off the... I mean, there's no... Like, this. it's really... 
it's very I'm sorry, detrimental that's, that's, to the living. Uh, until I sell it, you I mean, can't I, put it somewhere. I mean, like no, I drive that car. Yeah, I don't day. want it to be a problem, but you're know, not but giving I, me anything, and it's been years. I'm, I know. I have cars all the time. I mean, but you know this is loud, and it's really inconsiderate to your neighbors. Twelve a.m. Yeah. There's been times I that it's been. Work. I understand. Right, but, but like I, my windows. Yeah, Ma'am, listen. I'm going to drive the car. I'm not going to lie to you and say I'm not going to do it, and then I'm going to do it. I'm going to drive the car. I go to work, and I come back with it. I don't leave it running for hours. I was fixing it right now. Yeah, it's daytime. I okay? understand that. I, I, I don't want to be all that, but go over there. I'm going to drive the car. I bought the. I just bought the car. I'm going to have fun with it. It's my toy. Yeah. Do you hear that? It's not in my backyard. I I understand, but I, the wife. Complains okay. the same thing about well, about the windows too, but I'm gonna drive my well, then car. Then we're gonna have to have a, other means of intervention. Yeah, I'm trying to say really, I'm, I mean, I'm leaving. Noise and I'm, ordinances. It's really this is a residential neighborhood, and you I understand, not but I'm driving that car. I'm gonna drive the car. I'm gonna drive the car I'm to work. You'd be neighborly. And I'm you're, trying you're to. Not giving me anything. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you and say I'm not. I'm gonna make it a problem. You do what you gotta do, man. Because I'm just gonna drive the car home. And back. I'm not leaving the car running. I understand. I'm neighborly. I've never had a. Pro I've never had anybody ring my doorbell, even my next door neighbor. Okay. I've never had that problem. I understand. Okay. I I don't even like the sound, but the car is loud. There's nothing I can do. It's not like I can muffle the sound. It's just a straight race car. Okay. So you think it's perfectly okay to interrupt everybody else's day, whether they bring it to your attention or not, knowing you knowing full well that it's a problem. You're admitting I, it's a problem, but you have nothing. It's loud. I mean, look at all these things. You live by Tui. I mean, look how loud it no, is. No, no, I understand that. I, there's planes above my head, too. But okay. this is something right here that could be rectified, or you could... What, what do you want me to do? Well, just tell me. What do you want me to do? Blow up the car? Throw it away? No. What do you want me to do? I just paid forty grand for that car. What do you want me to do with the car? That's not your problem. Thank you. But the noise... I understand. ...is going I, to be I'll your think. problem. All right. Have a nice day. This Karen's hatred for cats and her neighbor is caught perfectly on camera by this ring doorbell. Somehow, I don't believe that this is the way to sort out neighborhood disputes. Hello? Open your door. What do you want? Um, I want to talk to the grown-up who lives here. Why? What happened? Answer the door. What happened? Answer the door. No, I don't even know who I'm you are. I'm your neighbor. Is something yes. wrong? Oh, can you tell me what it Open is? Open the door. Angry. I really don't want to open the door um, and let you calm down. Open the door. I'm sorry. Can you just tell me if something went wrong or yes. something happened? I'm not aware. There is something wrong. Made you angry. Who are you? Well, can you tell me what? You're the mother of this house? I'm the mother of this house. Great. Well, we've never met, so let's meet. If you're a cat doesn't stop pissing and eating and biting all of the things at my house when I don't own a cat and you do. I'm going to get the police involved because I am fed up. My son is very allergic to cats. Your cat will not stay out of my yard, my house, my garage. He gets into my house. Keep your cat. It's your cat. I've already met your husband about it. Kevin here probably wishes he never touched his neighbor's doorbell after he received the swift blow of karma. Take a look.